Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video in our series on Aruba Cloud Authentication. My name is Scott Lester, and I'm an enablement TME for the Technical Enablement Group here at HPE Aruba Networks. For today's presentation, we'll be discussing the Aruba Central Cloud Authentication Solution with regards to client onboarding and certificate management. Let's take a look at what we'll be discussing during our presentation today. On today's agenda, we'll be discussing onboarding via a web browser for the client device. Then we'll look at onboarding via the Aruba onboarding client application for both Macintosh and Windows. And finally, we'll round out our presentation discussing the certificate management portal inside of the cloud authentication solution. We'll begin with onboarding via web browser. To get started, first we'll open our Aruba Central instance and under our global tab and security, we'll move to the authentication and policy section to access our cloud authentication configuration. Once we've expanded out user policy, We'll browse down and use the user onboarding URL. We'll click on open. As we'll note here on the screen, for the best experience, we do recommend utilizing the Aruba onboarding application in order to install the certificate. However, utilizing the browser on a client device is an acceptable option as well. To do so, we'll first click on no thanks, just use my browser. We'll then select the account that we would like to log in with. And once we've authenticated, we'll see the network profile option and ask us to install on Apple. We'll click on the install on Apple and you'll notice that we've downloaded a Passpoint mobile configuration file. We'll open that file. Once we've opened that file, you'll want to open the system preferences on your Mac. Now that we've opened our profiles tab, you'll notice that there is an AOS 10 enablement profile waiting to be installed. To install, simply double click on the profile itself. Click the install button at the bottom of the window. Install again. And once you see the exclamation mark go away, the profile has been installed. Double click again on the profile. And you'll notice the user that it was associated to along with the certificate installation date and the validity period of the certificate. Once this profile has been installed, you are now ready to connect to a cloud auth enabled wireless or wired network in your Aruba infrastructure. Now that we've showed you how to utilize the web browser based onboarding, let's take a look at onboarding via the Aruba onboard app for a Mac OS device. Now that we've opened the cloud onboarding URL in our browser, Let's begin by installing the Aruba onboarding application by clicking, yes, I want to install Aruba onboard. In this instance, we'll select download from Mac OS and we'll install the package that is downloaded. You'll need to accept any security warnings to complete the installation of the onboarding application. Once the package has been installed, we'll click close. Move to trash. Now inside of our onboarding application, you'll notice that we currently have no network pro profiles configured. Back in our browser, now we'll select, yes, I have the Aruba onboard application. We'll authenticate utilizing the user that we would like to onboard, select install using onboard application. Open the application. You'll see that the application launches and click set up network profile. In this instance, we'll see Aruba on board. We'll click on that. We'll select install. And note that installation has completed successfully. Note that due to security parameters within the Mac operating system, a little bit of user intervention is required for entering passwords and allowing permissions for the application to install the network profile appropriately. Once the network profile has been installed, we'll simply try and connect to a cloud auth enabled network. In this instance, we see AOS 10 enablement, which is the organization for our network. 
You'll notice that we have a successful authentication to the cloud network. We can simply select details and note that we do have a connection with a valid IP address as well as utilizing our AOS 10 enablement .1x profile that was installed by the onboarding application. Next, let's take a look at utilizing the Aruba onboard application with a Windows PC. Again, utilizing the same onboarding URL as we've previously used. In this instance, we've already installed the Aruba onboarding application on our Windows PC. So in this case, we'll select, yes, I already have Aruba onboard. Just as on the Mac, the application automatically launches. We'll click Set Up Network Profile. You'll note the similar appearance and processes are completed by the application. Once the profile has been configured, you'll notice here that we do now see the AOS 10 enablement profile inside of the onboarding application. At this point, we can simply connect to our CloudAuth enabled network. Say connect using a certificate, select the certificate installed. And note that we have successfully connected to the cloud auth enabled network via our Windows PC with the profile installed by the Aruba onboard application. Let's move now to look at certificate management portal for the Aruba cloud authentication solution. Again, utilize the onboard URL. At the bottom of the page, we'll see manage my network credentials. Simply click on that option. It will authenticate utilizing the user that you installed the profile for. And you'll note all of the various certificates and devices that this profile has been installed on for this particular user. To expand, simply select the arrow down You'll notice the device name, when the certificate was issued, and when the certificate expires. At any time, you can revoke a single certificate, a group of certificates, or all certificates by simply selecting the checkboxes for the certificates that you would like to revoke, or simply select the Revoke All option at the top of the screen. Once we give permissions, you'll notice that the status will change to Revoked for all certificates listed inside of the certificate management portal. Let's take a quick recap of what we've covered during today's presentation. We started out by discussing onboarding via web browser. We then moved into onboarding via the Aruba onboard client application for both Mac OS and Windows PCs. And then we showed the certificate management portal how to revoke certificates issued, as well as to see the number of certificates issued and device names, as well as the certificate validity period for each device. That's all we have for today's presentation. Thanks again for joining us for this, another video in our series on Aruba Cloud Authentication. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out utilizing the email distribution list shown here on the screen.